Hi, now in this video, we're going to look at one of the biggest mistakes that people make when it comes to Google My Business. Google My Business can help you with your local SEO. So look forward now to finding out how you can benefit from my experience. Hi, I'm Zane from Zanet Design, and I help businesses like yours grow on the internet. So we mentioned Google My Business, and particularly one of the biggest mistakes that businesses are making at this time without even realizing it, and it's a really easy mistake to fix. So what is it? Well, if I said the letters N-A-P, or the word NAP, then some of you may be familiar with what that means. Uh, NAP stands for name, address, and phone number. And it's that NAP consistency that's so important. So we're going to look at three questions. First of all, question number one. What is Google My Business NAP? And then question number two. How does Google NAP affect my rankings? And then question number three. Is Google My Map consistency in that nap? So nap consistency, is it really important? Well, let's look at those three questions as we step in to our tutorial today. So let's take our first question then by asking, well, what is Google My Business Nap? So we've mentioned its uh, name, address, and phone number. And it's important because you need to make sure that there's a consistency when it comes to using these three areas. So name address and phone number, and also even the web address itself needs to be consistent. So we have here Google My Business. The reason I perhaps decided to do this tutorial was yesterday I was doing a review. So if you want to see the review on Momentum Marine, then hopefully the link will come up in the video now. Um, Momentum Marine is a, a local company and uh, I was looking there to see that they also have here on the right hand side there uh, marine engineering. Um, they've got a listing here as well that's based uh, on a Google My Business listing. But what was interesting was that if I did a search um, for them, uh, they came up here. They came up with their website here, but also um, they have a membership at British Marine. Now just notice here then um, 49A open road. So name, address and phone number. So there's the phone number, there's the name, uh, Momentum Marine, there's the address. So we've got the three, name, address and phone number. So if we take that 49A open road, open road, sorry, and you go to then say a listing here, uh, they are now 49A open road, spelt with an R-O-A-D as opposed to the R-D. And also they have just uh, straight from that into Southampton, whereas here it goes into Hampshire after Southampton. So Southampton's Hampshire, and then the postcode. And basically the, the, the listing here and uh, here are in effect the same because we're able to understand that, but there's an inconsistency. And this inconsistency affects how Google views the business. So in effect, it won't tie up the benefits of this with this particular membership here, even though it's obviously the same company. And it's the same with things like phone numbers. Here, every single number is in a row, uh, whereas here it has a space in. And then of course, if you go to the website as well, that's even more the case of having these things consistent. So that's what NAP is. It's just encouraging people to put the name, address, and phone number is the same, um, so that it has a consistency. So the second question, how does Google My Business NAP affect my rankings? Well, basically that information, if it's listed correctly everywhere you go, then it boosts the company's credibility. And that in effect is then uh, affecting how search engines view you. Now you may say, well, if that's the case, then uh, what happens if I go to Google My Maps? How do these business listings get affected? Well. You'll notice that uh, if I do uh, a web designer search, you'll notice that basically the most uh, nearest and also most authoritative companies will come up first. So it's good to see that I've come up number one. But you notice all these companies are web designers local to me, 
but uh, depending on their credibility, depending on maybe some ratings as well, but certainly their consistency when it comes to their address, uh, that is affected by whether or not that consistency is then adopted by Google. So that kind of explains that it does affect your rankings. And the chances are there's more people, if they're local looking for web designer, will then click on website or directions and then contact me than if uh, if my you know if my listing was on page two or three. So to come up in the top few, and actually those um, those types of um, uh, those listings they also show in Google searches as well. So in just a standard Google search, not a one on the map, you'll see that some listings can come up on there as well. Let's just see if we can see that. Okay, so what we've got here is uh, web designers near me. I've just searched there. And then again, you get these three rankings for local web designers. So that piece of the map as well is very much based on whether or not there's a consistency on the NAP um, or the name, address and phone number. So let's just go back to the third question then is is google my business nap consistency important well i think we've answered that really nap consistency is the key to making sure that search rankings improve over time well this means you get local organic traffic so you've got real people real businesses around you that are finding you and searching for you and if you come up uh, in the top five or six really then that's really the way to go if you can and also it obviously leads to uh, interest in local businesses contacting you and it can certainly have a, a major effect on you being found if you're a local company. So there's, um, there's some suggestions there, but this is a bonus as well, just help you see that there are lots of other places you can go to to get that consistency. So for example here, you, you can register with Yelp for free, and then you put your uh, name, address, and phone number, and website in there, make sure it's exactly the same as what you've got listed on Google Business. Uh, I would say that the way forward is to make sure that you've got it right on your website, then copy it over to Google Your Business or My Business, and then make it consistent on all the other areas that you have your website listed. So that could be places like, um, just bear in mind, you might have Bing places, that's another one to go to. There's uh, um, Yahoo's uh, local listing, Yext. Um, there's Facebook. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, YouTube, LinkedIn, they're all places where you may have references to your name, address and phone number. Uh, and then on top of that, here's uh, just a little bonus tip. Um, if you want to, you can go to yell.com, connect scan, and then you can run a scan. And what it'll do is it'll take your, your um, address, phone number, so your NAP, um, and it will then check to see whether they're in some of the most common listings. But what it's doing as well is looking for consistency. So if you notice here, every single number, every single address, every single name, so name, address, and thumb, uh, phone number, NAP, is consistent when I've got a listing. So you may want to just try that, run your company through that, and just check to see whether you come up consistent. If you're not consistent, then log back in, and then make sure that you change it. So in this case, I use ROAD on every single account. I use a, a space in my number, uh, and that gives me that consistency. So hopefully it's been a useful tutorial. Uh, let me know if you found this useful, and of course, as always, uh, comment if uh, you have any questions. So hopefully that's been really useful for you and helped you to see that there's reasons why you should be looking to see whether you have a nap consistency. So I'm Zane from Zanet Design and I produce these videos really just to help you to grow your business. So make sure you subscribe down below, press the bell so that next time I release a video you'll be able to be aware of how that can help your business too. Thank you for watching.